everyone, Gary here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today we're building in Hanford and Bagley. This is actually a cabin or something like that. Um, it's I actually took the inspiration from a picture that I saw on Pinterest. And I actually took the floor plan from that house uh, that I saw on Pinterest because there was a picture of the floor plan. I just decided to recreate that. It's not exactly the same because I had to make some changes. But it ends up looking pretty much uh, the same as in the picture. It's really, really similar. And I actually really liked it. I felt like building in Hemphorn and Bagley for a while now. I wanted to build like a cottage or something. But this is more modern. This is like a modern cabin. It's not a residential. I mean, it's not a rental home. It's actually a residential home. But I don't have a specific family in mind that would live in this house. I didn't think of anyone that would actually live in here. Uh, the decoration in the interior is pretty simple. It's really minimal. I didn't want to over clutter anything because my idea when I started building this, this house was actually based on two things. The first one, it was to try a new style that I saw Miss Griffey in a modern style that I actually really liked when I watched the video. Um, she did pretty nice things, really modern, a lot of plants and not so colorful, really toned down. And that's something that I wanted to try because I didn't know that uh, modern organic was a style. So yeah, this is my attempt to build something like this. And also because for gameplay purposes, it actually makes a lot of sense that if I build a house, it's not like fully customized to a, to a specific family. So you can come download this build and then just, um, just decorate it in any way that you want or in any way that suits your family so yeah this is for you to just decorate in any way you want um but of course everything is already decorated you can just go and i don't know um add some decor pieces or some toys if you want to have kids in here this house is a three bedroom two bathroom house and the bedrooms are not so big. I mean, the two small bedrooms are exactly the same size and they're not that big, but the main bedroom is actually quite big for a house like in this size. And I had some problems with the lighting in the game. You see that it changed like really drastically when I started decorating the interior. And I don't know why, because the time of the day that I had was actually the same. And for some reason, when I loaded in my game again, um, after a day, it just changed everything. It's not my reshade. I don't know what happened, but if you guys have the same problem, please let me know because I don't know how to fix it. I don't know why it happened, but the lighting just changed and yeah, it, it was kind of weird, but yeah, um, you see how the interior is coming up right now. We started with the living room. It's kind of an open concept because it's the living room and dining room, like in the same space. The kitchen is separated for, for um, from the rest of the in, of the like common areas, and it has an archway or something. So it's kind of an open concept, but not so much. I still wanted it to look like cozy but modern. So you see, we use some wood tones in here that are really warm. Uh, I used a lot of uh, like. Um, rustic items as well because i wanted to mix it with a lot of rustic items that look kind of modern because of the colors and stuff and i used a lot of rocks and stuff like that as well just to make it feel like it's a cabin or a cottage or something like that oh the kitchen is open so it's an open concept <laughs> yeah i didn't remember that but yeah before we go into the rest of the speed build i just wanted to address something uh, first of all, uh, like months ago, I mentioned that I wanted to host a shell challenge when we got to a specific amount of subscribers and followers in my different platforms. So far, we're really close. Actually, I didn't expect it. That's Theo meowing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we're really close to the... Um, to the numbers that I was expecting uh, to start hosting the shell challenge. Actually, I asked you to get to 5,000. 5k on TikTok and we already have like 5,300 uh, followers on TikTok. We had to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube. We're really close actually. <laughs> Only 22 people uh, and we we get to that. Um, um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I'm sorry. It's really early in the morning in here when I'm doing this voiceover. So sorry if it takes me a while to just get to the words that I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, and the other platform was Instagram and that's really close as well. We had to get to 5K on Instagram and we have 
4,911 followers over there. So we're really close to the milestones that I set in order to have this shell challenge. So thank you guys so much. I actually never expected in my wildest dreams that I would get to these numbers. I'm really, really excited. I'm really, really glad and I'm really happy. So thank you guys so much for all the support and all the love and everything. And yeah, that's something that I wanted to address first in case you thought that I missed it, that I forgot about it. I haven't forgotten about it. I really want to host a shell challenge. So yeah, I'm... I'm gonna be really excited if we get to these numbers. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to address before I forgot is actually I started a kind of a new series. It's kind of a mini series or something in which I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorite items from each pack. So I started last week uploading shorts and reels on my different platforms, showing you the my favorite items from cats and dogs. So I'm going to be doing something like that. I'm going to be showing you all the swatches of the items that I chose and just the names and everything. And I'm going to be just working on that for a while as well, uh, because I, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, about my favorite packs or my favorite items in game or what the uh, what item comes from what pack and stuff so i just thought that maybe doing that like in youtube it's gonna be like a short uh section so it's gonna be in the shorts and on instagram and tiktok it's gonna be regular videos um showing you my favorite items so if you have any questions or something i'm gonna be trying to upload those uh, videos once a week so hopefully every week we're gonna be getting uh, different items from different packs so you can see uh, what I use the most or what I like the most. And there, there are gonna be some packs that actually have more items than the other ones because there are some packs that I use more than other ones. And I have more items from a specific pack that I like more than other packs. But yeah, you will see it. I'm gonna try to cover every single pack, like expansion pack, game pack, stuff pack, and kit. Uh, it's gonna be a long series, but I'm gonna try my best to um, just show you every pack. In case you guys don't have a specific pack and you're wondering if it's worth buying it, I'm just gonna be showing you that. And I have to address, it's gonna be my opinion. It's not something that uh, everyone thinks probably. I have some packs that maybe I like more than others and maybe you don't like them that much. So it's just my way of showing you these items from a specific pack are nicer in my case. Like I find them more interesting to use or I use them more and stuff. But that's up to me. I mean, it's my opinion. It's not something that you have to consider. I'm just, um, I'm just showing you, okay? But yeah, I just wanted to do that because as I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, the items that I use or where they're from and also what my favorite packs are. And lately I haven't felt like building pack restricted builds. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about that as well or specific uh, kind of build that you want. I don't know, you want a, like a dance, an apartment for a dancer or something. I just, I wanna do that. I really like it when you guys uh, ask me to build stuff because sometimes I just never thought of that. For example, I've never thought of building an apartment for a dancer and I'm pretty sure someone asked me over on TikTok if I could actually build an apartment for a dancer, like a ballet dancer, I remember. So I'm gonna be taking notes of that. Uh, if you guys want me to build something, just be nice when asking and if it takes some time for me to do it, it's because I haven't felt inspired to do it, but it's not because I just ignored your request or your suggestion. So yeah, I actually really like that you guys feel like you can ask me to build stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking notes as I said, but please just be nice when you ask me um, because some people are just not so nice when it comes to requesting stuff. So yeah, hopefully, please guys be nice. <laughs> yeah, but I've been talking over the whole build. We talked over the kitchen, dining, living space, main bedroom, and we're now in the main bathroom. Um, I don't know how to call this. I don't know if it's like a proper ensuite bathroom because as, I, as you can see, it's not like the door is not actually in the bedroom, in the, in the main bedroom. It's actually in a hallway that is closed. Uh, like this whole section belongs to the main bedroom. So I'm gonna call it a, an ensuite bathroom, but I'm not sure if that's the real name. 
but the bathrooms in this house are pretty big as you can see this is a four by three bathroom i don't usually build four by three bathrooms i tend to go for smaller bathrooms like a three by two but uh, yeah the floor plan as i said i didn't make it myself i didn't create it so i just decided to stick to the one that i saw on pinterest i tried to make this corner tub work i couldn't make it work i think the bathroom is not that big for a corner tub but i used this shower from this one is from discovery university I'm going to be adding a tub as well from Dream Home Decorator. And as I said, this this is kind of a modern cabin with touches of rustic items as well. So everything looks really modern in here. I really like it, actually. You know, modern is actually my favorite style. Uh, mid-century modern as well. <laughs> my house is pretty much mid-century modern. <laughs> like my apartment in which I... Uh, like my real apartment right now. <laughs> it's, it has a lot of modern and like mid-century touches as well. So that those are my styles that I really like to build in. And I just felt really good when I was decorating this house. But this bathroom, oh my god. As I said, I'm used to building three by two bathrooms. When you have three more tiles, it just gets so difficult for me because I don't know how to cover every single space in the bathroom. I think it's realistic that you have smaller bathrooms. I don't know, I've never seen like a huge bathroom with a big tub or something like a corner tub or something. I haven't seen anything like that in real life. So I don't know how they would look, but yeah, I did my best. The other bathroom is a three by three and that's pretty much um, more easier for me to decorate so yeah this is one of the other two bedrooms as i said i didn't have a specific family in mind i really wanted it to look minimal in the clutter i didn't want to over clutter anything or have a uh, like specific likes or dislikes so this house pretty much looks like a rental home but as i said it wasn't intended to be a rental home so this is what I what I mean when I say you can decorate this and customize it any way that you want. I just added a computer in here, like a big desk and a bed and the dressers, and you can do pretty much whatever you want in here. So you have the full table to just go and decorate with items and put stuff on the walls and stuff like that. And the other bedroom is pretty much the same as this one. I use different items though, because I didn't want it to look like a hotel room with everything is just pretty much the same in every room. So yeah, this is kind of a family home, but it's just customizable in any way that you want. I did this trick with the with the tissue box again. I don't know if you guys liked it, but I'm gonna be trying and add more boxes that could actually work as a tissue box because I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> as I said, I've been watching a lot of videos on TikTok lately and about decorating houses or just cleaning and stuff. And yeah, my OCD actually feels really, really relaxing and really, really well when I watch those videos and I start trying to copying stuff for my house as well. So yeah, the, the inspiration for this whole build is actually TikTok and what I see on TikTok. <laughs> So yeah, I never thought I would say something like that. But this is the other bedroom. As I said, it's exactly the same size as the other one. I added more clutter in the dresser in here because it's a dresser and not a closet. And yeah, there's gonna be another desk in here. And it's a table. I didn't use desks in this house. For some reason, I just felt like adding tables because tables are more versatile. They have different styles. They look more like simple and they don't have that many different items and clutter attached to them so yeah i just went with tables i think they look really good i added this clock in here you saw me adding another clock in the main bedroom as well that's something that i don't usually do i don't usually add clocks to my houses because in real life i just don't like clocks like the tick tock sound that they make all the time i cannot stand it uh it's really like frustrating for me when i hear a, when i hear a clock so i usually forget that we have them in the game because in my like in my real life everyday stuff i just never see them i never use them and yeah because i find them really 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 frustrating uh but yeah in this house i decided to do that and add in some clocks and some watches as well because i'm pretty sure i added one like a watch in the in the main bedroom i'm pretty sure i don't remember I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the exterior now. You see the lighting changed again. I don't know what happened in here. The change, I mean, the lighting is really, really weird. I just didn't know how to manage it, but I did my best. 
And this is gonna be like a backyard slice, uh, slash. Why did I say slice? It was a slash. Okay, slash <laughs> um, side yard, because I don't know if it's a backyard or a side yard. But anyways, I'm gonna be adding a chicken coop in here and also there's gonna be a cow shed. In the screenshots, you will see that I actually purchased uh, chickens and cow in here just to see how it would look. And I really like how it ends up looking. I actually am gonna be adding as well the this trunk in which you have like, I don't know if trunk is the word. I don't think it's the word. But this tree in which you have the birds and also you can see like the, the rabbits spawn and stuff. I added those as well. And there's gonna be like this section in here and because of the backyard actually is that I think this house is not a rental home It's more of a residential home because you have animals you have farm animals and you have space for your sims to uh, Grow their crops and stuff. So I don't think if you rent a house like this people would actually want to just um, Take care of your animals and if you would ever have farm animals or any animal in particular if you decide to have like a rental home so that's pretty much why this house is not a rental and it's a residential lot and yeah i actually i think it's a a pretty valid point as well <laughs> so yeah this is kind of the more rustic uh, side of the build i wanted this backyard to look pretty much like a farm i added this swing set in here from the little campers kit Every time that I say Little Campers Kit, you see that it takes me a while to figure out the name because every time that I try to find, like to remember the name, the first thing that comes to my mind is the Tiny Travelers CC Kit. I don't remember who made it. I I don't remember the, the name of the creator of that kit. I, I mean, of that stuff bag. I never downloaded it, but I've always seen it. So that's why it takes me a while to remember the little camper's kit. But yeah, we're actually heading to the end of the video now. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please remember to like this video. Also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also follow me on social media. The links are all in the description down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Enjoy the screenshots. Goodbye. Give you mine if you give me yours. Can I call tomorrow? Maybe Ooh, I'm feeling down. So, can you be my cure? Say, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I get yours? Can I get yours? Say, can I, can I? Can I get your